You and I both know that art is subjective. Video games are art, so one man's trash can be another man's treasure. But what happens when the gaming community overwhelmingly agrees that a game is objectively good? Do the rules change? No, you're allowed to dislike what everyone else loves. Just know that you're most likely gonna get bullied and downvoted in the comment section because the internet does not like anybody with a differing opinion. I personally don't care what anyone thinks. If you disapprove of something popular, hey, more power to you. But I am allowed to make content on your reckless opinions. So welcome to a new series idea that I'm calling Bad Reviews for good games. I know here on this channel, I have a decent Tekken fan base. And since Tekken 8 is coming soon, I thought I'd take a gander into the negative reviews of Tekken 7, a game with over 50,000 very positive reviews on Steam. So let's go ahead and filter into the negative reviews and let's see what we can get into. So Aquamarine says that the game's dead. It takes ages just to find a game and get sweated on. So I completely disagree with this review and there's a reason why it's important to actually read the review versus just looking at the headline, which is, I don't like this game. The reason I say it's important to read the review is because first of all, he has 0.4 hours on the game. He doesn't even have a full hour. He has 40 minutes on the game. And then he's complaining that the game is full of sweats and that it's dead. Check it out here, right? Tekken 7 released on February 18th, 2015. If we do the math, I believe that's eight years, which is mind -blog boggling by the way. Tekken 7 has been out for eight years and you're complaining that it's hard to find a game, which by the way, you're playing the PC version, not the console version. I would imagine there's more players on console. So that's another reason that's a terrible opinion. Then also you're saying that you, it takes forever to find a game and then you just get sweated on. Well, the game has been out for eight years. Pretty much all of the casuals are gone. You probably bought it on a Steam sale, which I'm not mad at you. Like right now it's like 85% off. It's like five bucks, but that doesn't change the fact that most of the people that you're going to find online these days playing an older fighting game, are gonna be FGC sweats. So it's best to probably get this game with a group of buddies and then run some private lobbies. So like, I gotta say, man, you're entitled to your opinion, but it's pretty stupid. <laughs> So we got a comment from this guy right here. He has over 65 hours on the game, respectable, but it's in Russian. I don't, I can't read Russian. So I don't know what he's, what he's saying, but let's see what people in Russia got to say about, well, not people, this Russian dude. Let's see what he's got to say about the game. Let's put it in Google Translate. According to Google Translate, what he typed on the negative review is motherfucker walks. What the fuck? What is this motherfucker talking about, bro? What? <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker walks like did he walk off from playing the game like maybe maybe it mistranslated it maybe what he was saying was motherfucker sucks does anybody speak russian any of my viewers from russia or they speak russia russian like what is, what, is, what does this mean is this correct motherfucker walks maybe he's like the game is so damn hard he just walked away from his computer he's like i can't do it no more motherfucker walks. shout out to this dude man <laughs> All right, so this one comes from Via Pula, and he says, when he wins a game, he feels nothing. But when he loses a game, the voices are back in my head again. I don't know what the fuck that got to do with Tekken 7, dog. You might want to go see somebody about that, man. If you're if you're seeing dead people, that don't got nothing to do with Hahachi, okay? And I, you know the most fascinating thing about this goddamn review? Over 300 people found this review helpful. Is the Tekken community full of weirdos? What the fuck? Yo, what I yo, what voices are you hearing in your head, dog? Go, go get that checked out, bro. You probably got chlamydia. So our next one comes from Kyle27, and he says, do not play ranked when you're depressed as fuck. I I, I would agree. I'd, I'd recommend not probably playing any video game when you're depressed. Seek clinical help, and I don't make that as a joke. I'm being serious. Take care of your mental health, people. Uh, he said, seriously, don't do it. The toxicity is just dot, 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 which I'm pretty sure he's gonna, he means too much. And the most fascinating thing about this, game, this, 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 this review is he says, don't play ranked when you're depressed. But if we take a look at your record, you have over 740 hours on the game and just 17 hours in the last two weeks. So you're still playing the game a lot. But this man has almost 800 hours on the game trying to tell people not to play when you're depressed. Sounds like you need to take your own advice, bro. What are you, what are you doing, bro? And then 243 people found this review helpful this man ain't even taking his own damn advice what's going on kyle you need a hug dog what's going on quick little deviation so i'm scrolling through the reviews and this one isn't a negative one it's a positive one but i'm scrolling through and i thought he left a penis i thought his review was a penis out of 10 and i'm glad i clicked it because it's not a penis it was a it's like a guy i guess with his son pointing up basically saying that you know he likes the game but yeah i thought he gave it a penis out of 10 i was like what the fuck a bbc out of 10 magnum condom out of 10 let's go <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
here we have another example why it's important to actually read the review before you just read the headline. He gave it a negative review and he said it's a five out of five if you enjoy fighting games, but it's a one out of five if you enjoy life. So this man gave the game a negative review because this game has consumed his life, but ultimately that's that's your personal choice. That sounds like you lack self-discipline. This man has almost 2,000 hours on this game and then he's blaming the game, Mr. Lucky Duck. Exercise of discipline, mother ducker. Hit the like button. I don't know why, yo, that was awful. <laughs> All right, so I found the most unintentionally funny negative review on the game right here. So this one comes from Dr. Adcon, and he says, I've never been a fan of Wi-Fi indicators in fighting games. Now, when I first read that line right there, I thought where this was gonna go is he doesn't like to play against Wi-Fi warriors because who does in fighting games? Please get a wired connection. Y'all fucking up these damn servers. Y'all be lagging all over the place. And also, has anybody else noticed people with shitty connections love to play the fastest characters in the game? Just stop doing that. Anyways, he says, I've never been a fan of Wi-Fi indicators in fighting games, and I'm saddened to see it here. There are plenty of people who simply don't have the option for wired connections, and it shouldn't be discriminated against due to circumstances that cannot be changed. Hopefully, they patch this mistake out. So basically, what he's crying about is he's upset that Tekken 7 exposes his connection for being a Wi- He's a Wi-Fi warrior, and he feels like he's being discriminated against by the greater community because people don't want to play against him, or they're like rage quitting or whatever i thought this was an unintentionally funny review like i get that you can't control it the fact that you only can use wi-fi but die it's a fighting game people want to have the best experience nobody cares yo the world does not owe you understanding bro we trying to run a clean and fair one dog and it sounds like you got a shitty connection and you're ashamed of it and you don't want nobody to, to make fun of you or, or, or be aware of it and then just leave i'm not going i'm leaving i'm leaving i don't want to fight wi-fi warriors it is what it is man it doesn't make you a bad person bro just find a better connection move come on now all right, so the next one comes from your very own Lord Cheesington, and he says, I hate this game. Every time I go online, I get hit by a Brazilian Wi-Fi player's raging demon, and they scream, go white girl, go. I have never felt more inadequate than when I'm playing this game. First of all, how do you know they're from Brazil? I don't know how I feel about that. I got, uh, I got some racial undertones on that. Like, I, I don't like Wi-Fi warriors either. You could have just called him out for being a Wi-Fi warrior, but he's like Brazilian. Like, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. But the fact I think go like go go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he got a hundred hours on the game though. He ain't stopped playing this shit, bro. Oh, uh, freaking! Oh, yo, I just noticed you can leave comments on the on the on people's uh, reviews. This person said that's like half of the appeal of the online mode. So somebody somebody likes playing the Wi-Fi warriors and being called a white girl. You somebody said you can select the best connection in the match. That's true, but it would probably take longer to find a match. Is the problem with that? This could be a Russian Wi-Fi player as well. Further reinforcing what I said, like how do you know they're a Brazilian Wi-Fi warrior? They could be an American, a Brazilian, and be like that 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 guy's a racial on that bro <laughs> fucking chill it's just a game dude shout out to gunslinger 99 he says that this game sucks my only problem with this review is he has over 4,000 hours on it and he has 15 in the last two weeks so he's still playing this game and apparently i'm not the only one who feels this way about his review because somebody shared the same sentiment like he said dude we're seeing almost four Oh, I guess at the time of this review when he wrote it, he had 3,000. He said, dude, we're seeing almost 4,000 hours, but why? Why do you continue to play something that hurts you? It sounds like, a matter of fact, I do that with 2K. I can't judge him. I do that with NBA 2K every year. It's an abusive relationship. I Actually, I, I completely understand you, Gunslinger. I'd like to apologize to Gunslinger99. Hashtag, I'm sorry, Gunslinger99. <laughs> So our next review comes from Sai Ko to, I'm just gonna call you Sai, dude, like Naruto. Uh, <laughs> what have video games come to? This is a sad, pathetic attempt to squeeze every cent out of every idiot with a credit card. By your own logic, wouldn't that make you an idiot because you bought the game uh, anyways the only way to get away with this is because people are dumb enough to fall for it the season one season two bull needs to stop i refuse to support this kind of practice we don't pay 60 dollars for a triple a title for them to push 30 dollar passes every few months now this one is i think a fair review i completely agree with it uh this has been my biggest problem with fighting games these days um ever since the era of dlc being introduced they've been 
been nickel and diming every goddamn fighting game like on average i think like three to five characters are added per season when it comes to like new fighting games and they want to charge you like 30 dollars for that shit. it's like we used to just be able to unlock the characters if you're gonna charge for like new characters there needs to be like new game modes there needs to be more content there and and what's really annoying is they be charging for characters that were in previous games i mean they're doing that with street fighter 6 right now that was like the biggest kind of i i did enjoy the street fighter 6 demo but that was my biggest pet fee i know words my biggest pet peeve with the actual last little event that they did with capcom they showed off the season one dlc the game's not even out they're showing off season one dlc which says to me that the, the shit is already done all the characters are like from previous games so i'm like eh, i don't really like that shit and that's why i really don't be buying oh and then on top of that they be trying to sell it to you as a season pass only for like six months later for them to uh release the ultra super mega ultra instinct vegeta's ego edition with all the characters characters that they charged you for for half the price so i actually this is probably one of the best reviews that i've seen i completely agree with it the business practices in these fighting games basura sapling incorporated says that you are never going to learn matchups against every character unless you're some 35 year old hermit that has played since tekken 3 well first of all i'm 32 so i don't appreciate the ageism i'm not a hermit though i don't know <laughs> He gave this game a bad review because of skill issue, which by the way, he has 700 hours on the game. So he's bitching, but he's still playing the game. But this sounds like a skill issue. If you have 700 hours on the game and you haven't mastered most of the matchups, sounds like you fucking suck at the game. But <laughs> what do I know? Just a 35 year old hermit. <laughs> Next one comes from Ice Cream and he says the online's trash player base lacks any humility and they will leave the moment you start to win slash understand a matchup. Avoid Wi-Fi players. They are not human. He said you Wi-Fi players are fucking aliens. Beep, 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 beep. Fucking robots or whatever. This part is right here is interesting. Player base lacks humility. What does that mean? Why would you expect humility in a fighting game? Motherfuckers came to fight and win. They like it came to knock your head off so like absolutely i'm gonna be on the mic talking shit now this part i understand the moment like people rage quitting when you start to win that that that's pussy shit or like people who don't run a set like i feel like that's like the unwritten rule for fighting games where if you go online it's best two or three i hate when i get online and people play and they they beat me like the first game and then they'll leave instead of giving me the rematch now if you beat me two or three you got it dude but like yeah that's pussy shit bro what a humility i kind of agree with this one but not really you feel me <laughs> <laughs> Zai says he's not gonna sugarcoat this review. You you didn't even prepare anything. How could you sugarcoat it? You literally just wrote, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this review. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, this is why I be trying to say, like, a lot of people low key are Twitch streamers and they don't even know it because y'all just be chatting, bro. Y'all just be chatting. My man's motivational speaker says he will not recommend the game because he cannot find any cheats for this game online. This man admits he's a cheater. He's trying to get wall hacks and auto combos and he's upset that he can't find them. Yo, Steam ban this man's account what the fuck bro this man's over yo he's probably trolling look at this look at this damn Did profile you know, picture bro get the fuck out of here i can't find any cheats i can't find auto combos this is not dragon ball fighters what the hell? another side note this is not a negative review this is just a positive one but i thought it was funny when i was scrolling through it comes from sold my account for a plane ticket he rates the game shrek out of 10 shrek out of 10 do with that info whatever you feel the need to do with it whatever that does for you good for you <laughs> Ain't, ain't no way in hell that this man is serious about this review this man ape sauce gave it a negative review because he said this game is just a bunch of button mashing monkeys so i think this is frieza's burner account and frieza said play a real game like super smash bros yeah come on bro if you're being serious i know you don't shower get the fuck out of here frieza junkie johnny doesn't recommend tekken 7 because he says i hope everyone who plays this game suffers a long filthy disgusting life wouldn't that apply to you you have 164 hours on the game like are you living a long filthy disgusting life and also what the fuck did i do to you jesus christ just take it relax it's just a game but yeah there's just a few bad reviews on what's considered to be a great game by most people i had a lot of fun making this video so hopefully you guys enjoy the video and if you did please remember to hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section below would you like for me to turn this into a series i think it could be a lot of fun covering other great games with bad reviews just let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more videos like this and also let me know if you're looking forward to Tekken 8 what new features or characters do you want to see in the game and if you want to participate 
participate in a Tekken tournament, we're throwing a Tekken 7 tournament in my Discord strictly for the community. There will be a cash prize. We're gonna live stream it. I'm a shoutcast it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna happen in May 2023. So make sure to join the Discord at discord.gg slash GI updates. There will be a link in the description box below to join the Discord. Other than that, my name is the Black Hokage, aka TBH. And to be honest, I appreciate you for watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.